How to Troubleshoot a Smoking Car Issue Recently, I've got a call from my coworker. She said she came to work 20 minutes earlier and she just sat in the car with the engine idling. Shortly after, she noticed smoke coming out from under the hood. If you found yourself in a similar situation, here are the steps you can follow to troubleshoot the issue. Number one, smoking is usually related to the engine overheating. Stop driving and turn off the car immediately to avoid catastrophic engine failure. Number two, in some rare cases, smoke could be coming from an old car battery, especially if you had many issues with it lately or tried to jumpstart it frequently. Number three, check the temperature gauge to find out if engine temperature is normal or too high. Number four, let the car cool down first and visually inspect the car. In this case, I noticed there was a trail of liquid starting under the car and flowing down the floor of the parking garage. Find out what liquid is that. It could be coolant, engine oil, windshield washing fluid, brake fluid, battery acid, etc. In my case, the blue liquid was the engine coolant. Number five, try to find the source of the leak. Add more coolant if it's completely gone from the system. You can also use distilled water temporarily. Let the engine cool off sufficiently and then carefully open the radiator cap. Keep in mind it could still be under high pressure. Cover it with a rag or towel to avoid getting burnt. Fill up the radiator and the overflow tank. Check if you see a liquid leaking anywhere. If there is no leak, then most likely coolant escaped the system through the overflow tank as a result of overheating. Another very important detail, my friend mentioned that her AC was blowing hot air when stopped or driving in slow traffic, but worked perfectly fine at high speeds. This brings me to point number six. Check the radiator fan. Both engine and AC system in your car are getting cooled off by passing liquids through the radiator in the front of the car. Normally when you drive fast, radiator gets cooled off by the incoming air. When you stop, the fan turns on to cool the radiator. If your fan is broken and you're not driving fast, the engine coolant temperature and the AC refrigerant temperature will start rising. As a result, your engine will start overheating. To test the radiator fan, make sure the engine temperature is low and turn on the car. Turn on the air conditioner. Look at the radiator fan and make sure it is spinning. If not, it is likely broken, has a blown fuse or damaged wiring. Number seven. Check the engine oil as well. Make sure that the level is good and that the oil is not burnt, gunky, or discolored. In our case, there were signs of coolant on the top of the overflow tank, but there was no leak anywhere else after we added distilled water. Also, radiator fan was broken and didn't spin at all. After the car stopped driving and idled for 20 minutes, coolant overheated, started steaming, and coming out through the overflow tank. We replaced the broken fan. After that, Overheating as well as air conditioner issues were resolved. If you are interested, you can check out how to troubleshoot and replace radiator fan in my other separate video. I hope this video was helpful, and if so, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, and have a nice day.